We're going to remove the 2-inch reaction chamber from the M1500. It's a standard 2-inch reaction chamber that you'll find in most of our systems. To remove this guy, we've got, the, again, the four screws, or the four nuts in the corner. And we'll remove the connection point to the coil of the transformer, as well as these fittings. For these, we don't need necessarily need to mark exactly where these elbow fittings are, as they're always straight up. But remove the Allen screws on all sides. As with all reaction chambers, we'll start with the bottom end cap, give it a little bit of a twist to break the O-ring connection, and with a flathead screwdriver, go ahead and use those fins as a leverage point, and ease this guy off. Same thing for the other side, you just don't have to be as gentle. For removal of the dielectric assembly, we've got the, the cap on the back. That's the thread that's holding everything together. The top end cap will just twist right off. And that's where the connection was. Go ahead and clean out any of the debris that's inside the uh, cathode, usually with an alcohol-soaked rag. If it does require uh, a little something extra, you can hone it out. And then go ahead and clear any of that dust and debris out now. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove the O-rings, careful not to gouge any part of the Teflon end cap. And the one in the center. These end caps are relatively easy to get in and out of. The elbow fittings, if they do require re-taping, just go ahead and remove them. Pull off any extra tape that you may see, and we'll go ahead and re-tape them. Cleaning is the same with all end caps. A little bit of denatured alcohol, a wire brush, or, or a rag with a screwdriver just to clear out any of the debris. Soak it and then clean it out. and then let it dry. Inserting the O-rings is very straightforward. One in the middle, two on the outside. They do not require any lubrication or anything like that for these vacuum chambers. Right, do that on both end caps. We're gonna to need to pull this brush out to the dielectric assembly so we can reattach it to the top end cap. Just go ahead and push it out. Now a note, this is just a stainless steel sheet that allows us to apply the voltage evenly throughout all, the entire glass. Uh, you, won't really, you will not need to clean this guy. Just when we put it back in, we make sure we do not put any creases into it. and it's centered. We'll start off by putting the screw back in. And attaching it to the brush, attaching the brush. Now sliding on the glass onto the brush it is important that we get it right, mostly that we keep this shim centered. So go ahead and grip it on the top to keep it from slipping. Just slide it in all the way until it seats. There we go. If you're unsure at any point in time if it's seated properly, go ahead and drop a, a dental pick in there and just go ahead and twist it to see if you can hook underneath the glass. You should not be able to.
for the reassembly, we'll start with the bottom end cap. Just go ahead and get it on there, like so. And then as for the dielectric, before we insert it, we will make sure that we clean off any fingerprints or debris on the outside of the glass. And just press down firmly. A little twist. Afterwards, we'll put the, go ahead and put the screws back in.